This is Entrepreneurs Get Visible, the podcast for people who want more impact, influence, and income. I'm Anna Parker Naples, and I'll be sharing with you proven methods from leading entrepreneurs that help you get visible as an authority in your field. Because anything's possible when you get visible. If you don't know how to launch and how to do it well, people will not buy your stuff no matter how good they think you are and your service is. Personally, I experienced this when I launched my first online business. I had no concept of how to launch, how to drive activity. And despite the countless people who said, I love what you're doing and I'm going to join, I just was not seeing enough of those people signing up in the cart. So launching for me has been a massive learning curve. And since I have incorporated these launch elements into my own business, it has transformed my business to almost times 20 increasing my income as a result of launch strategy. So the first thing is you need to learn how to launch because no matter how much people want things, if you do not deliberately craft reasons for them to take action now, then they will not take action now because there is no need for them to do that. And we're busy people. No matter how much we want something, other things are grabbing at our attention. Other things are cropping up on Facebook, in our personal lives, in our business lives. So you want to make sure your launch is making people really want what you have to offer so that they must take the action at the time that you say they have to. So in a launch strategy now, it's about having this pre-pre-launch awareness. How can you build that desire? How can you build that hunger? And it's about not telling everyone everything. As human beings, we are curious. We want to know more. We want to be drawn into the story. So imagine that before your launch day, and you know when your launch day is, you set that in stone for yourself and reverse engineer everything else back from that point. So I would be looking at for whatever I'm launching, having potentially five to six weeks lead time for me to start dropping hints, dropping a little bit of flavour about what's coming, building that interest, weaving that story, seeding the idea of what I'm going to be selling, but without telling them really what's coming. And that does pique people's curiosity. They want to know more. They sense something's coming. They don't want to miss out. And that kind of then leads you into what would then become the pre-launch section, which might be driving them towards a challenge, which are really, really popular in Facebook right now, building them towards coming into a webinar which you might want to do a week or two before your big launch, or certainly in that week before your launch, that becomes part of your launch strategy, driving people towards this free offering that you are going to give them, that's going to give them a taste of the kind of results they could get if they had your bigger service. And this works not just for coaching programs or group programs. This works for launching a podcast, for example. This works for launching your book and getting it out there. Instead of waiting till everything in your business is ready to open the doors or your book is there on the shelf in Amazon or in Waterstones, having this tease where everyone feels like they're on a journey with you is really powerful stuff. We are hooking people into the story we're telling. And I think that way you bring people on the journey with you. So you'd be saying things in the pre-pre-launch about save the date, something's coming, earmark this in your diary, but you don't tell them exactly what it is or exactly the date, but you give that vague idea that something exciting that they don't want to miss out on is coming. Then in the pre-launch section, it's going to be about having a challenge or a webinar or some immense value that you are going to give them that will get them a result. And I think that's really important. You want them to know that you are the person who can deliver on the problem that they have, give them the solution that they want to something. So everything in this launch strategy is about getting this end result. And all of those steps along the journey, you do have to think, what is it I'm selling? What is it I'm teaching them at the end that I want them to purchase? And everything that you, all your content about that in that five to six week period needs to drive them to that point, to that result, telling them that they've got this problem, pointing out how much it hurts them and teasing that you have a solution coming. And you want to start quite abstract with those ideas and then get much more specific about what you have coming that you're going to offer. 
So your challenge or your webinar period, you probably want some intense activity for five to three days, three to five days, whichever way you like to look at that, where they are, you are driving people to all take action at one point. You want lots of people's attentions at one point. That's why challenges and webinars work. Because again, if we see other people taking action who want this result, we want to be part of that. We want to feel like we belong. So you do want some community element to what you are releasing and revealing in your launch. So the actual launch itself, then, you want to kind of open during a challenge or towards the end of a challenge or towards the end of a webinar so that you're driving people to take immediate action for those who are present on those activities before you open this out to the whole world. And in your launch generally, you want to be, depending on the cost and the value that you are putting out into the world, you want to have a fairly short launch period because it's going to be very intense energy that you're going to be driving forward. So at most, you probably want seven to 14 days, I would say for something that's pricey. Generally, if it's something smaller than that, then probably 48 hours to 72 hours because you want, you've already done five to six weeks of prepping people for this and you want them to know they've got to take action now or they're going to miss out. So in your launch itself, you want to drive scarcity. You want people to think about that there is a limited time to get what you're offering. They have to take action by the time you have said, and then it goes away. They're going to miss out. You want to have bonuses that are really valuable to them that almost feel like the bonuses themselves are worth just as much, if not more, as the product or service you're offering. What do they want? What are their problems? What are their other problems that bonuses might help to solve as well. You want to have perhaps limited numbers of who can get this service that you're offering. So again, it drives that behavior because we don't want to miss out. You want to be able to take bonuses away if a specific action isn't done by a specific time. You want to also show that maybe the value will increase if they don't take action by a certain time. And you want to think carefully about how can you position what you're offering as the only thing, the only solution or the best solution? How can you have that compare and contrast element in what you're saying about what you're launching? And how can you bring in social proof? How can you bring in the results that you've got before or the potential results for other people? Which is why doing beta or beta launches of programs often works, even if you've had less income from them, because you've got that social proof. Social proof is powerful. Testimonials, case studies, other people giving videos on how great the results you are is often the final thing that convinces us to take action. Personally, I had no idea about this open and closed strategy. And you want to think, can I bring this open and closed strategy where people are going to miss out or not be able to have the service at all by closing those doors? Do you want that? Can you bring that in? And I would say that actually what I've seen is that since I've had open and closed strategies on my coaching and program is that I could be much more targeted in my marketing and get many more results because it drives this human need, the psychology of persuasion. There's a great book called Influence, which you'll find in our resources that talks about this psychology of persuasion, about why humans behave in the way they do, why we take action, why we will buy a certain product at a certain time. And having an understanding of all of that psychology can then inform your launch. And at the end of your launch, you do actually then want to actually close, actually make sure that people cannot then buy that service at the time you say that they can't. It all changes. It Maybe your sales page then becomes a waiting list page. That ability to purchase and sneak in through the doors disappears. And you might think, gosh, well, if my sales haven't gone that well, maybe I don't want to close the doors. Maybe I want a few people to sneak in. Believe me, if you close, you will build much more desire and hunger for that individual and build that trust if you have closed the doors than if they sneaked in. Very often when anyone sneaked in because I thought I'd closed the doors and something didn't work, those are the people who end up being a bit of a headache because they don't trust me. They don't respect me. I didn't close when I said I would. And even though you might think, oh, it's an extra sale, in the long run, it isn't worth it because you have to be trustworthy. People have to know that they can respect you. And so 
that's what your launch strategy is all about. So just to recap, you want to build out your launch strategy five to six weeks before driving on social media and all of your posts and all of your content, this pre pre launch awareness, this hunger, this desire, this tease about what's coming. Then in your pre-launch period, you want to be driving people to take activity to get a little bit of the result. So that might be a webinar or a challenge or something similar. Something is coming. And during that, you are then going to release this launch. You're going to open your doors and have real concerted energy around getting people in and to take action. You want to have got your posts already scheduled, your emails already scheduled, so that you are driving those people who've been showing interest and getting results in your challenge or your webinar to make that purchase through inviting them to have bonuses or get in quickly because the doors are going to close, they're going to miss out or they're going to get a reduced fee if they come in now. You want to trigger all of that human psychology so that people get the product, the service that you give that gives them value. Learning to launch can be the best way to get more impact for people because no matter how great your services are, if you cannot drive that activity and that behavior, you cannot help people and have that impact that you so want for the work that you do. So learn to launch and learn to do it well. Thank you for listening to Entrepreneurs Get Visible. To get your free checklist on how to raise your profile and to find out about our community, go to annaparkernaples.co.uk forward slash get visible.